Well, guys, I've been using the latest Huawei Watch Fit 3 for almost a month already. If you all follow me on my Facebook and YouTube, I even brought this watch to Korea last month. It's my very first watch from Huawei, and I didn't know what to expect when I got this Fit 3. Well, I'm here to share you guys my honest review. Let's get started. Before that, let's start with the box. Apart from the boring paperwork, there's a two pin magnetic charging cable that attach firmly to the watch. Full charging on the watch takes within one hour, which is quite standard for most smartwatches nowadays. As for battery life, Huawei promised 10 days of battery life, but I managed to squeeze a bit more out of it every single charge. Occasionally, I managed to get 11 days battery life after full charge. So I use this watch to monitor my vitals, receiving notification, and I wear it during sleep and also during my workout. So the battery life is actually depends on your usage. As for the build quality, I can say that it's really solid. The body of the watch is made of aluminum and it's also very thin at 9.9 meter only. The watch is super light, around 26 gram, and the strap is made of fluoroelastomer, which is very comfortable. I can tell you honestly, it feels very comfortable wearing it during daytime and nighttime. You won't even feel that it's there at your wrist. The same feeling I had when I was trying out the Huawei Band 9 two months ago. On the left side of the watch, there's a single speaker which can play songs from your watch. Basically, using the Huawei Help app, you can transfer your MP3 files from your phone to the watch fit tree, and the speaker can be quite loud if you are in a fairly quiet environment. One more thing is that once the watch is connected to your phone, you can use it to make or receive phone calls. That's why there's a loudspeaker here and also there's a mic on the right side of the watch. Very convenient. On the right side, there's a rotating crown. When pressed, you'll be able to access the app menu on the watch fit tree. And you can zoom in or zoom out the app menu by rotating the crown clockwise or anti-clockwise. To be honest, the haptic feedback on the watch is not bad when you rotate the crown button. And also the animation is very smooth when you scroll it. The second button here when pressed, by default, will lead to workout modes. So there are more than 100 workout modes on this watch. So two things to note on this watch is that it has built-in independent GPS and also it supports 5 ATM water resistance. So you can track your jogging route status without bringing your phone, as well as bringing this to the pool swimming. Nice. In front, there's the 1.82 inch AMOLED display, 347 PPI resolution. The bezel surrounding the screen is quite minimal to be honest, and under bright sunlight, the maximum brightness can go up to 1,500 nits, which is on par with some of the smartphone display in the market. To be honest, I'm quite impressed that Huawei able to provide this kind of high brightness on a smartwatch display. Swiping to the left will get you these few widgets. And the watch can measure the essential health vitals like SpO2, heart rate, stress level, etc. etc. Swiping to the right would be the weather widget and also the music player. Swiping down would be your quick toggles. Swiping up would be the notification center. One thing I like about this part is that it can store up to a maximum 30 notification, which is quite a lot more compared to other brands, just in case you guys want to know. Well, as usual, to activate the watch fit tree, you need to download the Huawei Health app on your phone and connect it via Bluetooth. So this watch supports Android 8 and above, as well as iOS 13 and above if you are an iPhone user. I did some brief introduction on the Huawei Hub app in my Huawei Band 9 review two months ago. So if you guys are interested, you guys can go check it out. So page one, two, and three are actually quite similar to my previous review. But there are some additional stuff on page four because the watch with three has additional function. From here, you can upload 
the songs from your phone to the watch as I mentioned previously. And from this app gallery, there are a few apps that you can download and install on your watch, which is quite nice. One thing I really appreciate is that the watch faces here are quite nicely designed, even for the free ones. So you guys can change your mood on the watch every day without feeling bored. The Huawei Watch Fit 3 is selling from 599 Ringgit Malaysia, which is quite competitive among the competition. I love the design of the watch, very elegant, and you have a very vibrant and bright display and also the strap is very comfortable to be worn for a long period of time. There's a built-in GPS, which is also a nice addition. Plus, you can use the watch for phone calls, as well as to play songs for your own self to enjoy. It has the essential vital sign measurement for you to track your health. Plenty of workout moves also. My only complaint so far would be the battery life. Perhaps Huawei can improve it to 14 days next time for the next successor. Do let me know if you have a question. Until then, take care and peace guys.